Okay, well, you got this pike pretty easy to clean. All you do is you just go down just like any other fish right here until you feel your blade stop. And then I like to make a little cut on the back and just follow that spine down. And then same on this side. Down, straight down the belly. Straight down to the there. And a lot of people worry about this pin. I don't worry, but I just cut it up later. So, straight down, hit the backbone and your knife. Just follow that backbone. Going all the way down to the tail, stop right at the end, flip it over, cut right there, take it, just follow. It's kind of hard doing it right on the ice, but I mean, you save a lot of time later and you don't get all the slime all over everything at your house. It's northern are very slimy. Don't want to lose any meat, so straight down here. Right. See that? Pretty clean. Okay, next, you want to do the ribs. Ribs are right here, so I just do a line right there, cut along just underneath them, so you can see the rib line. If you have to, you can run your knife that way. I just follow the ribs down right against the ribs here. Keep your knife against them. Turn your knife this way. Just cut them off. Boom. Easy as that. Okay, now a lot of people don't like northern because of the Y bones. Well, really, the Y bones are very easy. Okay, so. 
and run your knife this way and you can see all the tips of the Y bones right here. So the Y bones only go to about here on the northern. So keep that in mind if you're flying one yourself. Just go down until you feel the Y bones. So I'm just going on the top side of them all. So right on the top of where I see the bones. Go down until I feel them. And you turn your knife and you just follow them down. But you want to be really gentle because they break easy. Okay. Feel the tips of them there. That, turn your knife, just keep following them. Boom. There's all the bones, you can see them in there. There's one boneless fillet. Okay, now you flip it over, and the Y bones go up like this, and then they run that way. So you just want to go. On Other side, you can see this vertical line here. So I'm gonna go on the other side of that. Take your knife down, cut in just a little ways, and then you can turn your knife, go straight toward the eye bones. There. Another boneless fillet. Cut it off here because that's all boneless. There, there's a little piece of meat. And then you just do the same thing on the other side and get two nice pieces of meat. It's fairly easy. So, yeah. Well, it's number two and three. I'm gonna flay those now and we get some more fish. Keep missing it because my GoPro's dying. Left my other battery at home, but I mean, the bite's on again, so looks like cruising around worked. All right, well, we'll clean them and get back to you. Maybe we can get some more bites. Here's number five. Look at his mouth, it's pretty messed up there. I don't know when that happened. Okay guys, I'm back in my house. And uh, now I'm gonna be making the fish. I'm just gonna bread it in some shore lunch. So yeah, I got an egg, the fish here. And I got some butter, cause butter's the best on fish, so. Lots of butter. So I'm gonna get that heating up. Medium, cut the egg. that much. I'm only doing half a pike. Fork. Just got my egg. Flatten that out. Alright, now I'm going to wait for this uh, butter to completely melt, and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, well it's been about two minutes now, my butter's nice and hot, so I'm just going to dip the fish straight in the egg. Get all the excess egg off, and just coat it really well in this shore lunch. into the butter. Just do that with all of these. So 
sweet. Yeah, and then you just do that with the rest of them and have a handful. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, guys, well, just got all these in. I'm just going to start flipping the first ones I put in. Basically, you just want them a little bit golden brown. These ones got a little dark. But it doesn't take long. golden brown color. Give them a nice little stir and maybe add a little more butter. I like to put a paper towel on them and a little towel on it, that way they dry off. So test, you want them to be totally white in the middle just like that. First bite. Mmm, that's a good fish. It's really fresh. Yeah. Can't really do much better than that. Take them off. Basically on both sides, golden brown. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to do any more catch clean cooks in the future.